guys, welcome to My Table 3. My name is Carrie, and if you're new here, I blog about Trim Healthy Mama um, and basically recipes. This channel I use in conjunction with my food blog, My Table 3. Um, I'll put the link to that blog below. Today, I'm just sharing, or I get, maybe I should tell you a little bit about what I share. I am on a journey to try and get healthy, which I'll be putting out a video a little bit later. Uh, to tell you where I'm at and some of the struggles I've had over the last year, which I haven't done a weight loss video in a, update in a while. And I'm going to share more about that later in another video I'll be filming later today. So if you see the next video and I'm in the same shirt, you'll know why I filmed them both on the same day. Now this video that I'm going to share for you today is a grocery haul. I haven't done one of those in a while, but this is lost footage that I had from an April haul. So I know this is May, but I, this footage, um, since I don't have as much time to film, I didn't want to waste that footage. And I know many of you like seeing grocery hauls, so I thought I would share that with you today. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump into my grocery haul. And I hope you guys come back in a few days, or maybe, hopefully a few days, to check out my next video where I share more about uh, my journey with losing weight and some of the struggles that I've been having over the last year. So, I look forward to talking to you again. Let's jump right in and see that haul that I had in April. And have a wonderful day. See you All next right, you time. Guys, welcome back to my table three for my first April uh, grocery haul. And so we're going to start here with Aldi um, with our dairy. We got quite a bit of dairy. We were um, just about ever out of everything. So I picked up a couple of each to stock the fridge for the next two or three weeks. Um, we got two heavy cream for some recipes I'm going to be doing. Two sour creams. Two half and half. Uh, two pounds of butter. I usually put one in the fridge and one in the freezer. Um, quite a bit of cheese because we've been out for a while. I just want to stock up. I'm going to make, um, I may do some videos of some of my recipes on the blog with the cheese dough or the fathead pizza dough. And so I needed two blocks of the mozzarella, a block of the Monterey Jack, just because I like that for snacking. Uh, mild cheddar, two blocks of cream cheese. We were totally out of almond milk, so we do like this organic almond milk. Um, the original, not the vanilla, from Aldi. Then we're going to move over to Frozen. Uh, three bags of these Berry Medley, because I really love those. I've said those before. Uh, actually, I got... Sorry. There are four bags. So, yeah. So, my hauls are remotely the same every time. So, you guys probably get bored with them. But then I don't do them when people ask for them. So, I thought I'd do another... Um, I did change up a little bit. I also got a bag of these mango chunks because I have a mango freeze a recipe that is a Trim Healthy Mama E that I, um, I think I showed it in a video, but I'm going to be doing a recipe uh, video, the video of the recipe to put on my blog recipe. Um, stocking up again. I showed you earlier I still have some cauliflower rice, so I just grabbed three more bags. Four dozen eggs because I have not met with my egg lady lately. And I want to make some boiled eggs and things up for the week. A couple bags of steamable green beans. Uh, three bags of this organic broccoli floret. Florets. Uh, let's see. Uh, two English cucumbers for salads. Uh, these cherry tomatoes. They looked really good. They looked better than the aromas they had. And they were only $1.19. So I got two of those. Two pretty spaghetti squash. Bag of red onions. My two staple bags of lemons. Oh, that one looks bad. I need to make sure. Hopefully it's only that one. These things are so high, guy. Like $3 a bag. But, you know. for for Anyway. It's worth it because i got to have my canary. But then they had some red uh, seedless grapes on sale. So if you guys can see those. They're tiny, but they tasted good. Four bags of asparagus. This is $1.99 a bag. And we love asparagus. Even Nate does. Um... I found the larger bottles of um, <clears throat> seasoning, so I got two garlic powder, two onion powder, because like I mentioned in other uh, grocery hauls, they are going smaller, so I grabbed four, two of each of my staples, two cans of black beans for our next Trim Healthy Mama Kid recipe, uh, then two jars of our favorite salsa from Aldi, two bottles of the organic ketchup for Nate, he loves ketchup. Uh, the olive oil spray. I got two bags of the pork rinds. One jar of the tomato basil pest, uh, spaghetti sauce. It's organic. It is a little higher in carbs, but I wanted convenience this week, so I grabbed one. 
two cans of the diced tomatoes to fill my cabinet back up. Of the garlic, oregano, and basil. And then two cans of the... Oh, there she is! Wet dogs coming in from outside. And then two of just these fire roasted. Did you get her? Miles coming in? No. Okay. Oh, let's see. I'm so exhausted from all we've had going on. Anyway, so for meat for Aldi, I didn't get you much. I got... Uh, they had these St. Louis style spare ribs on sale for $1.99 a pound. So I got one of those. Are you getting a treat? Say hey! Get your treat. She needs water probably. There she got it. <laughs> we just got back and they always miss us. Well, she does. Our male dog, he does. He, he runs outside and he's like, see ya. Anyway, so I got the ribs. I got a bunch of pork this time. I got chicken later, I'll show you. So I got these little mini cocktail sausages to go with some of the spaghetti squash. I had the beef kielbasas, but they were $2.49 a pound, and Aldi's had these on sale for $1.49. It's a little less than a pound, but I wanted to save money, so yeah. <clears throat> a roll of the breakfast sausage, some of these real bacon bits. I'm going to make a, a ranch bacon coleslaw recipe. We've been eating it. We like it, so I'm going to put it on the blog. So these are convenient instead of frying up the bacon, but, you know, whatever you can do. We love these um, boneless sand slice center cut pork chops. They're really easy. They cook up easy. If I'm working later in the evening, my husband uh, and son cook these. Super easy. Then I got some of the slightly thicker bone-in pork chops um, as well because they look good. I think that's it for all these. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So I will jump right over and show you my discount grocery store, which was only about $13. So not much, but we found, uh, I got four packages of these jumbo chicken uncured franks. Uh, they have no added nitrates or MSG, no artificial preservatives, and no byproducts. Tomorrow we are going to be having uh, those everything bagel dogs, which, um, I'm going to use these and some of the fathead dough. So this will be good. And then the other two will go in the freezer. Um, I also found this coffee, this gingerbread coffee. I'm sure it's left over from Christmas. It looks like member Archer's Farms. And I believe this is a Target brand. I think I've seen other bloggers like Claire at Cookie Come From. I think she buys this brand. And I totally may be wrong. But I've seen it somewhere on somebody's brand. And I think it's Target. But anyway, gingerbread. And I love gingerbread flavored coffee. So... Um, I actually paid $3.99 for that, which wasn't too bad. Back here, I just got the single pots because I like giving a variety. I love this 7-Eleven blueberry, so I got five of those, I think, which will make five pots. And then there was a new, uh, called the New England Coffee Dark Roast. So, we'll see how I like those. Here are some treats, just snacks that I found for us. I found these, um... These I saw back around Christmas at Sam's. They had these in four packs stacked up in cellophane and in a bowl. And these were at a discount grocery store. I think these are ones that the packs have been broken apart. But hey, I got these for $1.49 each. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got um, one can of the Smoky Mozzarella flavored almonds and then Italian herbs. So. Oh, man, I just realized where it said sweet and savory, so this probably has sugar added. Well, it says sugar, just one. So, let's see. Peanuts. Canola. Great. Soybean oil. Great. Uh, obviously, I did not. <laughs> dextrose. Obviously, I wasn't reading very careful. I just got excited and grabbed them. So, yeah, but whatever. Here's what it is now. Um, two boxes of the low carb Atkins bar. I found these. They were both. Uh, let's see if it'll focus. 99 cents a piece. Caramel chocolate peanut nougat and uh, caramel nut chew. Three bags of these for. What is that? 69 cents. These are the truffles. I think they're all three. Got those as well. And I think that's it. I only spent, like I said, about $13 on that little bit from the. Um, discount grocery store. Then I jump over to Walmart. I got two packages of their boneless, skinless chicken bre breast. Um, I think it was $1.99 a pound. So two of those. Two things of chicken stock and one thing of beef because I forgot to get the... My favorite brand is the organic brand from Aldi and I forgot. So I just picked it up at Walmart because I needed it. <clears throat> 
two heads of lettuce, two bags of the shredded coleslaw mix, because like I said, I'm making that recipe for the blog and because we like it. Um, two limes, some lime juice, uh, some parsley for homemade ranch. And then I found this, which I was excited about. Everything seasoning. Yay! I hear everybody talk about this stuff from um, Trader Joe's and all kinds of places. So, uh, I want to put them on that. These uh, Remember I talked to you about the bagel dogs? Well, I wanted this. And I found it at Walmart on the seasoning aisle for $1.98. And it is 2.6 ounces. So, I was excited. I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, we had to get a bag of dry dog, dog food for the fur babies. And, of course, I got three more bags of fruit because I am a fruitaholic or berry frozen berry medley. Two of my staple um, pepper and onion blend. And then these are just some household items I picked up from Aldi as well. Toilet tissue, dog treats, and aluminum, aluminum foil. So, that is it, guys. That is my haul for this uh, next two to three weeks. So I will just show you one last glance.